up to the official place that Fernando will be speaking. Oh, look at these guys. They're giving him a welcome. Very excited to... Okay, so although it may not look like it, these are our science students. Here they are. Okay, and here's the teacher, the professor. They said they want a certification in what? So they want a certification on underwater cave fauna. Water cave fauna. What she said. And how's it coming? How's it going? So, so far, do you have some knowledge? Two specimens so far tonight. Um, we're going to take them back and get the DNA on them later. Here we are uh, preserving the samples in ethanol that allow us to uh, preserve both the morphology but also the DNA. So right now there is no samples in here but we have a scale so each one of these is one millimeter. guy's alive. He's unbelievable. Look at that. This is actually the last sample from today. And that's always something that we need to be very careful about. Only take what we need for research. Life. 
comes in many forms. What's that solution that he's swimming in? So right now it is in water from the cave. Oh. So that is why it is moving around because it, this is the type of water it is used to. Got it. Yeah, definitely looks like a shrimp, but see how what you're looking at is literally a little speck of some. Look at that. Can't even barely see it in there. No, in here, Tiny. you will see eyes right here. So, but it doesn't. What do you mean? Oh, because he's a cave yeah. critter. So, so that is one way we know this is cave adapted. He gets around. You can see it with a very long antenna. So those antennas are uh, the way to know where they are. This is the one that I was using. Each one of these lines is one millimeter, this is one centimeter. So this little guy, you can see, is like one, two, three, four. It is massive. So it is like four centimeters. Okay. Here we can see this is the shed. And it has like long antennas that are what they are using to if there is anything because there is no light, so you cannot see. Uh, there is. If you lose information, that trying, sample is what right there. Because you don't know where it's it is. It's a distant coming. relative of the Remipede. And Dr. Fernando confirmed <coughs> I was right. He confirmed. I knew that. I don't know how. But... Oh, cool. This is he's draining a little water. So like the animal is here, it has like these structures. So these black areas are not part of the animal, are part oh, of the animal. Maybe that's what I saw. Yeah. They will have eyes like right here and here. Okay. And I suppose have actually pretty big eyes. Okay, definitely has never been in light. Do you think the light is somehow affecting him now? Or they? Uh, I don't think the light itself, but the heat from the light. So remember, they are allowed to be in a place with no light at all. Yeah. So the fact that they don't have eyes, they don't have a way to know if there is light or not. But they have a lot of uh, ways to feel different things. Yeah. So probably they are able to recognize things that we are not able to. Uh, so like they will be very sensitive to movement but they will also be like probably like sensitive to heat and like all those changes. So I think Look at our class. the heat itself may be like directly or indirectly making a Such a yeah, cool class. I mean, we have legends in our class. It's amazing. Legends? Legends. It's so awesome. What do they eat? I never asked you. What do these things eat? Okay, so... Most yeah. This is it, live in action. 
55 grados. That's how they make a whole map and all the quadrants of the dry part. Yeah, that's pretty cool.